What's up, everybody? It's your boy TP. Shout the Heezy for Sheezy. Gamer Tag, Big Play Killer. Hey, it's time for an episode of Unleash the Dragon. Hey, this is something I'm going to start doing to uh to show you guys some tips and to help my game. Because when you recognize what you're doing wrong, you can, uh, you can, uh, what is it? You pick up on it quicker in the game. So you're not rushing as much. You don't make as many mistakes. Because you know you already have a picture in your mind what should happen. When it happens, you know how to react. So what I'm going to do is break down some tape like how we did when I was in college. And I'm going to show you all what I did wrong and what I need to do to correct my um, my issues. And uh, I'm going to show you when I correct them and how it's going to benefit me in the long run. Hopefully you guys do the same thing and... Uh, and incorporate this into your game i mean you don't have to record your games like i do but go back and look at your replays and um see what you did wrong and and correct them and i'm i'm swag there you go <laughs> i'll guarantee you your game will improve if you start to do this i mean this is what we did in college we broke down our tape but uh i know some of y'all might think oh, it's, it's a little too over the top or whatever but if you want to be good at something man you got to work at it and you just gotta gotta work at it. There ain't no way around it. You gotta put in the time. Okay, this year's team. I have held this team back. I kept some guys on the roster before we can try to make a big run this year. Now look, this is uh my running back. I'm high on this guy. We're gonna try to pump him. Try to see can we get this guy to win the Heisman. You see what I'm doing? I see they're in the man-to-man -man defense. So I try to hit him with a toss, and I almost break that tackle right there. And the, all right, so now I need to pass right here. Second down. I'm looking for these uh, tight ends on these little end routes. All right, the ball. Both of my guys are open, but since I wasn't anticipating the blitz, I hold the ball too long. The defender had and I ended up and then it. The defense. Look, if I would have read the pre-snap and the, the alignment of the linebackers, I knew they were blitzing, and I would have got rid of the ball right now. I'm supposed to throw the ball right now. See, both of my tight ends are open right now. But I hold the ball too long. And they're going to put six DBs hit. on the field to counter that five Now, this play right here, I'm just doing some crosses. Look for whoever's open. Boom, hit my man in the middle. It's first and ten. All right, look at my pre-snap read right here. You see my slot guy? Five wide inside, I got my running back, triangle. He's wide open. He's uncovered. So, that's my initial read. I should have hit him quick, Throws it. but I held it. Boom. Let, let the... Uh, Try to hit the little open zone. So that was my initial read right there. When I saw him uncovered, I was like, okay, I'm throwing this guy already. So that's my initial read. Stayed with it. He was open. Boom, hit that. Your priest in that read is the biggest key to playing football. Big pickup. Okay, we're getting the red zone. I like running this play a lot right here. My two outside wide receivers are going to go and clear out this zone, this left zone. And I'm looking for my tight end. I'm looking for my tight end. So I'm reading this safety. And the outside linebacker. See, boom, right there, hit him. I mean, and I didn't get the yards that I wanted, line. but that's the play that I Three wanted. Yards you always have to take Usually that because your tight end might break a tackle. He's end. going against the corner so right there, so he might break that tackle. Passes. All right, come back again. I'm going to run a play. I see they're man to man. I'm going to switch this to a toss. So they don't have corner support on the outside. That's why I changed it to a toss. But and this linebacker is coming. Like I don't, I'm like I'm mad as fuck right now, cause like I want to see how fast he's running. This linebacker the is. I'm like, damn, pitch it out, and like I, my guy runs a 94 speed with a 90 something acceleration. I'm thinking he should better turn that corner, but he can't. So hey, back to drum board. Okay, this is one of my favorite plays in the red zone. Reason why? Because you have a lot of options here. Um, my first read are my it's slants right here. The if the field. linebackers take away my slants, sometimes you can run. If I can't run, now I, I go down to the tight ends. So that's my read. Drops Slant, can't Drop run, check open. down to the tight end. You see it works and gives me a first down. I'm sure the defense thought he came up short. You know, sometimes the officials' judgments can have Looking a big impact on a game. for my slant that takes away. Most times they take away the slant, the guy, he's going to be open in the flat. Look, I'm tired of playing with these guys. I'm just trying to be physical and run them over. But these linebackers are playing like hell, man. Now, okay, let's change it up. Hit him with a pass play. 
I should hit my tail back in the flat if the if they vacate the zone. They vacated the zone and I tried to force it to my wide receiver. That's my fault. Fires end zone and tip third down. All right, and on this play right here, I'm going to try zone. to attack the middle of the field. I I don't want to make my running back go out in the flats. I don't need him doing that. So I'm going to check and make him block. Okay, I'm, I'm reading the middle safety. If he commits to the right, I'm going to the left. If he goes to the left, I'm going to the right. So I'm waiting on him. He goes to the right, so I'm looking at triangle. And my quarterback does a great job by breaking that tackle. And I'm going right back to triangle. Boom. Batted he drops away. the ball in nice his play by the defense to All right, let's take a closer look at this play. You remember I made my running back block? My running back picked up that D lineman. That's what happened. That's why my guy broke that tackle. It's like a little glitch thing in there. But he should have picked him up from the start. I come right back. Boom. Hit my guy. I could have ran it. But I already see my guy was open, so that's why I want to go. And I'm trying to see did he go out of bounds. No, he didn't go out of bounds. I mean, this guy, he's a freshman right here. And I guess because he's a freshman, he don't have the poise yet. But, I mean, you got to catch this ball right here, man. You got to hold on to this ball, baby. But, yeah, I mean, I executed the play right. We didn't succeed, so let's kick a field goal. To take you always want to get the first points goal. on the board, no matter what. I mean, and now you got the lead, so it now it's up to your defense to keep the lead. Okay, second drive, pre-read snap. I'm looking at my triangle guy. I'm trying to hit him on his out route, this deep out flag route. I see my, my corner starting to drop to the flag, so now I bring my eyes to my number two guy. My number two guy is the square. Back to pass. I see he's crossing. Caught Boom, with hit him on the cross. And he you always have to have your check down. If you notice with this drive, I have not down. ran the ball yet because the linebackers are playing so good. All right, Priest not read. I'm trying to attack the middle of the field. I'm looking at the safety. They have, they're playing cover three. A snap. I have windows. I have guys open, but I'd rather take the safe throw right here. My tight end in the middle of the field. Boom, check and down because he's, he's wide open. And he's I take those eight yards. All right, we get to a third and two right here. I'm trying to just go back to Everybody the running game short. They want to see a and uh, right they're now. stacking the right side. And I try to see my wide receiver motion to see what they're doing. And they still kind of got numbers on that side too. So I said, forget it. I'm just running up the middle. Here's and their the linebacker show up again, man. Fourth down. Sure and sure I'm already winning right down. now. And my field goal kicker really can't kick for real. He's like a walk-on guy. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to dive straight middle. Then I look at it, I say, nah, I got a little gap right here on the outside. That's my weak point right here. Boom, attack it. Get the first Gets down. Not by a lot, but I had to attack that weak point right there. And look, this is fourth and inches, guys. So I'm not trying to make a big run. I'm just trying to stay behind my blockers and get this one inch. I don't care about, I'm just trying to get that inch. So I'm happy with that. First down. I go back to my favorite play. I've been running this play since like 2001. I got what I wanted. My circle guy is wide open in the zone, so I hit him right in that little soft spot. Bam. He's right there first down. down. He's quickly reached 100 My guys are happy. Let's go, still baby. Let's game. go. And I'm Even though they're playing me real good on the run, I still got to try different things. I put swag in that quarterback Here's the option and let him run the option to try to get some more speed, to try to get to the outside. The but even with that, That's they still play it pretty option. good. I mean, we, we had some success, but... It was still uh, a hard play to get off for real. Here's the okay, I want you guys to watch these series of plays. Watch how the defense changes, and I take advantage of the defense. I right, come out with one of my favorite plays. I should have ran play. that play and tried to hit my tight end in the flats, but I changed and tried to run up the middle. Hands it off so I said, hmm, let me see. They kind of tough up the middle. I always got to keep a team honest with the run. Keep them honest. So I hurry up, and I knew my flats was open last time, so I get ready to try to go back to it. And now they move guys to the outside. I said, okay. Changing things up. Oh, now they got that side covered up. So I change it and run up the middle again. I come right back to the, put up the middle. We block it up well. Up the first down. What a play. And See, that is first and look, goal. read the defense. Your so pre-snap reads determine down. what play you should pick. I'm going to hurry up again. I see I got him. Uh, look, at, I think this left side is the weak spot now. The left side is the weak spot right here. Tight end. Bam. Pre-snap read. My pre-snap tell me where the ball is going already. Already. Here's another guy we're high on right here, Banks. I call him Big Baby, but this dude is a big dude, man. 
I think he like 275. He's a tight end. And he can run. Love this guy, man. I just can't wait till I get him into my offense. And, and really. Woohoo! He's a low. He is a low. Right here, you have to learn how to read people's tendencies. The computer has tendencies. And a like human, they have tendencies. So right here, I run a play. And I see the safety vacates the middle of the field. I try to hit my guy. But I was doing like a little in route. And it was kind of, it brought my receiver to the linebacker. So what I do, I come back and pick a play where my inside receiver is running a post. So if that safety does the same thing, I'm going to have the middle of the field open. I make my tight end do an out right over here to pull that corner. Now look, wide open in the middle. Boom, go right back to it. I see you. If you're going to leave something open, I'm going to try to take advantage of it. And that's what you should always do. Try to find an open spot for the defense the and attack. Hey, check this right here. For all you guys that play DB in real life, you guys that might be in middle school, high school, or if you play in the flag football league or whatever, yeah, watch this play right here. All right, when you're playing DB, you should always open up to the inside of the ball. You should never be looking at the wide receiver. You should always look to the inside. I remember we used to do these drills, and uh, our coaches always make us turn to the inside. This way you can see the ball. It cuts down on your pass interference, and you're in a better position to get an interception. He actually spins to the outside. You're supposed to spin, open up to the inside. But he ends up being in the right position, and he's looking the right way to make a play on the ball. And D, uh, DBs, that's how you should play the ball, but you want to open up to the inside, not to the outside like he did. This is the reason why I always recruit big corners instead of fast corners. But this guy's beat, but he's so tall and long, oh boy, he still knocks down the ball. He's a 6'3 corner. I love it. The offense will Watch take on this over. play. I do something bad, and I do something good on this play. Look, defense come out in the same exact defense. I'm running the same play. If I'd have ran the, the same thing I did last time, I would have killed him across the middle again. But since I did not, throw on first I down. got in trouble. I didn't have any options. I end and up throwing the ball away. away. You always want to try to throw the ball away. Here again, I put swag in at quarterback, and I try to go down the line. Lateral I kind of pushed a little too early he right there. But their, their defense of this run is great. Okay, it's big third down. down. I do not do my pre-snap reads. Watch that inside guy, linebacker. He shows he's going to blitz right here. Look at it. I should see this, and I should automatically know, okay, I got a fast, I got a hot read out here. I don't look at that. I'm just locked in on number uh. Uh, the L1 guy, I'm just waiting on him to clear. I'm waiting on him to clear, and I had square back. wide open. And I just missed it. They got a hit on me, picked the ball off, interception, and that's my fault all the way. I had an open guy. Could have had a touchdown. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the... Look at this play right here, man. This is a clean hit. Dude hit me. I fumbled the ball. EA so fucking broke, man. They gave the dude the ball. I mean, they, they gave me the ball back. So now I don't get hurt for real. So it by my bad decision or whatever, it really doesn't hurt me. But uh, watch this right here. Remember I told you I had square wide open? Square wide open. And I had time to get throw it to him too, man. Just, ah. Alright, let me show y'all what I do to this play right here. All these guys are running little comeback routes. I change one guy on this side going long and one guy in the middle on the opposite side going long. So now I'm gonna pick my poison. Boom, I see my guy right here. He gets to step on this on the safety. Go up top. You wanna do opposite side, so now if you're in the cover two or cover three, whatever. You got a, you have a chance on both sides to get somebody open. So that's why I do one on one side and one on the other side. And uh, just see what kind of, if they're in the zone, I might find an opening and just try to take advantage of it. I don't know what the computer was thinking about. They tried to do a, a, a fake punt on me, a fake field goal on me. And my defense got it, man. I like that, bro. My defense starting to step up. So I get the ball back with a few seconds before halftime. So I try the same thing again. The same offensive play. Just throw it up deep to my wide receiver. And that time the safety made a play on it. And uh, I seen my guy in the middle of the field was open. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go I'm gonna go back. I'm going to try it again. The same play. And this time I'm going to look for the guy in the middle. 
Now the safety kind of goes that way, so I go back to my initial read on the last play, and this time he hasn't beat on the outside. And that's my uh, rookie, Moore, 96 speed. You got to take advantage of that. And I got fortunate enough to get this guy to transfer in my quarterback from Alabama. He has like a 94 throwing power. And you have a guy with a 96 speed. You just have to keep working that combination. Now, I have had two big touchdowns out of this offensive set. So, I'm going to go back to it starting the second half. And um, I watch the safeties. They're, they're over top now. So, now I just take what the defense is going to give me. They give me a big lane. I take it. First down. All right, on this third down right here, I'm trying to attack the middle of the field. But I see their safety moving to position right here in the cover three. So I said, well, if they're in the cover three, I'm going to call it audible, and I'm going to flood this left zone right here. If they're in the cover three, I, if I put too many people in the zone, they can't cover everybody. So I'm looking at the outside corner. If the outside corner drops back, I'm going to my guy that's cutting out, that X guy right there. If he sits, I go to my, um, either my deep guy. And he's immediately tackled. But he dropped out, so I went to my ex, man. You have to hold the ball so in that play. That's a play where you have to hold the ball for a long time. All right, look at this play right here. I got both of my inside guys running flag routes. So I changed my horrible. my receiver on the outside to run an in route right here. So I'm reading my corner. If the corner drops back, I'm going to the end. If the corner doesn't drop back, I go to triangle. Boom, right there. They'll bring him down at the receiver combo. Look, I come out of Talking my favorite play right here in the red the zone. Where I'm they always looking for my tight end or my running back quick. But I see my circle guys uncovered right here. I, so I try to take advantage of this. I don't want to pass the ball because the safety the, the end zone's right shows. there. So I run a counter. They and now up, everybody and picks the up their blocks. Field. You have them outnumbered. Touchdown. And my guy Williams gets well in the end zone. This guy, I want him to win the high. I'm so mad I kept pumping the ball this game. But the defense didn't give me what I wanted to nice run the ball, so I had to take advantage early, of the pass that they gave me. Of it. And, um, I mean, the high's going to take care of itself, man. I am high on this linebacker, man. This guy, <laughs> this white dude, man. This dude, this dude weighs 264. Red shirt freshman. I see a red shirt freshman. Oh, he's a, I don't know. But I know he's a beast. Yeah, I think I red shirted him because I, I promised this other guy he was going to start. So I had to red shirt this guy. Normally don't do that, but I had to red shirt him because he couldn't get on the field. But this dude weighed 264 as a freshman. You know how big he's going to be by the time he's senior year? Monster. I want y'all to watch this play right here. Watch my D-lineman. He gets morphed into a block. Tries to tackle the quarterback. He can't get him. Get up again. Try to take a guy again, and he can't get him. Like, it what looks the like hell the defensive going on end here? Got in there. Yes, it was. All right, people, let's take a better look at this play right here. Why is my guy going over there? Like, look, the quarterback is there. Why are you going here? And like, EA, they took out the morphing, as, but they, they started doing that right there. Like, that's still morphing. We just don't see the morph, but it's still, I mean, it's like you pulling my guy. Like, and why can't my guy tackle this dude? Like, what the hell is that? Like, for whatever reason, 95 was not going to tackle that quarterback, man. It's crazy. All right, They're since we beat audible. them down so much with the pass, now it's starting to open up the run for they us. Go with the toss. My guy Williams took advantage. Eh, look at the spin move, baby. And you better get it. I'm going to kill you out in the open field with my guy Williams. This guy, I'm telling you, I want this. I, I've held this, this guy back. For like the last two years, I'm going to unleash the dragon with my guy Wiggins this year. I noticed with the computer, I was always come out in the passing play, then switch it to a running play. Because their defense off, is geared to what play you he start really out in. So I always start out in the pass, and then kind of like touchdown. switch down Once to a run. The ten yard line, and I know that's working for me more like this computer. Alright, here's my guy again. Look <laughs> at Big Boy. Big Boy, go get it! 264! Get off me. Come here. Show up to the party with a bang. Oh, when he showed up to the party, he got a whole, he got some rocks in his pocket. And he's hitting you with every rock. Boo! My man 95 finally woke up and started playing the way I know he can play. This guy is a beast. All 
And I continue to try to run this play. We're just trying to get out of here with a win. I put swag in. And this time I learned from my the mistake pitch. last time. Held the ball. And I, I got field. a good pitch down off. And we just gets down the line. I thought he was going to score right there. But he got ran down. Now that is exactly how you draw up the option. When this offense is executed, and the Houston the fans, they have had enough of this. They're like, man, we out of here, man. Forget this ball. jump. <laughs> Come back with the option. I see I had a option right side. little opening in the it's middle with swag, so I just go ahead and take it up the middle. Game long. Everything go ahead just fell into place out, out there, and nothing was going to stop these guys God, from getting the ball into the end zone. Many. Hey, look, guys. I'm just happy. I'm trying to get out of here. My. My guy 95 is finally starting to show up and make the plays we know he can make. He comes back and make two sacks back to back. This sack he forces a fumble. And uh, we pick it up and get a big run and return on it. And look, everybody's showing up to the party, talking a little trash. I mean, Houston is really bringing a lot of top recruits. So for us to get this win, it's a big thing Williams for us at UAB. And now uh, we get wins in, get a little late touchdown, touchdown here, game. late the in the game. Team, uh, a lot of people don't ball like ball it, but I mean, we're right here at the end zone. It's not like we're throwing the ball. We're just running our offense. And uh, they try to come back right here at the end of the game. They're trying to still trying to score on us. And Davis steps back to pass. They throw Let's a ball go. here. Picked we pick it off. Seal it up. It's great for the defense to finally show up. I mean, we've been having shootouts with the computer, so the for 20, my defense to finally show up like this, that guy needs to tuck in, that ball down. in. He can, ball can get stripped. He can that fumble right there. He should and learn how to tuck that ball in. I mean, I'm glad he scored, for but he tucked the ball in, son. Yeah, I know I'm just having fun. The crowd is booing us because they think we're running the score. Hey, we're on defense right now, man. But uh, our next week game, we're playing against Texas Tech. Y'all let me know if y'all like this style, how I'm – Breaking down the plays. I want to try to break down the plays when I play against the computer. And then once I go against a, a, a human uh, human versus Our human game, I'll do more one. just Blazers, play by play talking Cougars, about the game. So uh, y'all let me know what you think. I know the video is kind of long, but when you're trying to break down stuff and show people exactly what's going on, the videos will run a little long. And uh, this is your boy TPG, man. I'm out of here just like that. Unleash the dragon. Gone.